Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. I have got a genius piece of music for you guys today. We're gonna learn how to do Revelation, Mother Earth, Ozzy Osbourne, Randy Rhodes, of course. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the live version. Uh, the studio version's got lots of kind of overdubs all over the place. So when this kind of thing happens, it's better just kind of see how Randy kind of put everything together live. And it's very cool how he did it too. So um, I'm gonna stick with the tribute album version so which is my favorite version anyway the tribute album is just by far my favorite randy stuff so uh we're gonna take a look at this whole thing the very in-depth song with that whole intro um i'm gonna kind of show you the intro note for note and then from there that part remains the verse and he does all these little variations i can do all those little variations because it's kind of something you can just kind of just keep repeating the intro it's the same thing almost or just do your own little variations like he's doing. Um, but the video would run three hours long if I try to get every little little variation he does. But he sticks with the same sequences, so you'll, you'll understand what he's doing. Um, and then we're gonna go through all the different sections of the song, including that, the ending section, the solo section, which is just killer. So got a lot of work cut out for us. So uh, grab a, a whole entire pot of coffee and let's go. Uh, now, well, actually, before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'm putting all these huge, long videos together for you guys. Please at least like it and uh, and uh, share it with people, and and hopefully more people will be able to see it. And if you really want to support what I do here on YouTube, click the link below. It's a link to my guitar academy, it's my online guitar school, com school and complete courses on for beginners and, and then more advanced players for technique, improvisation, ear training, theory. It's all there. Uh, there, you get personalized support from me, you get live streams of me every weekend, so it's really, really fun. So, I hope you guys will come and join us. Free seven day trial by clicking that link. So, let's jump into this track. So, I'm a standard tuning here, and like I said, this intro is that it stays the same as he goes and uh, does the verse. There's just the ending chords are slightly different when he when the, when Ozzy starts singing. So I'll talk about that. But then beyond that, you can just kind of throw your own fills out. I'll kind of give you some ideas of what you can do there too. But we're gonna start like this. Turn the volume on. So we're gonna start with three four on the G, and then you're gonna have to hybrid pick some stuff. We're gonna have. So I'm holding the second fret there on the D and then the third fret there on the high E string. And I'm gonna pick both of those, the bottom note, the, the D string with my pick, and my middle finger will pick the high E string. Then I pick the open G, open B, and then when you get to the high E string, you're gonna take that note down to the second fret, so. And then back to the open G, B, and then when you get the high E string again, it's the open high E. So we have a little little uh, melody on top. So we have this. From there, so that's going to be the first fret there on the D, and the second fret there on the high E. So hybrid pick those, then the open B string. Then the first fret on the B, back to the open, and then catch that uh, D string again that you're holding at the first fret, right before you go back to that 3-4 to repeat the phrase again. So we have this. So when you get to 3-4, it kind of starts over. It goes to this chord again, but it's slightly different. You still pick the uh, first fret there on the D and the second fret on the high E, high e to get it. But then keep holding those and grab the second fret there on the A, and then play one zero on the B. So it is. And then you pick that second fret on the A again, and then back to the three four. So we have this. So now after that three and four again, it's going to be a little different figure. So 
So I went to a G chord. So we, we start the same way. But when you get to that open high E string, and that melody note, hammer back onto the second fret, and then go to a G major chord. So you're going to play the third fret on the low E, third fret on the uh, high E, and then the, the second fret there on the A. So, so you're just going to pick the two outside strings, the two E's with the hyper picking, then pick the A string that you're holding at the second fret, open G, open B. So then he does a little fill. He goes three, two on the high E string, and then pick the two again, hammer three, pull back off to two, and the open. So that's what it is. And then we're going to go over to a D chord. So he starts with the open D string, and then the third fret there on the B. So you're going to hyper pick those two. And then pick the sec second fret there on the G, and back to the third fret there on the B. Then you're going to pull off three to two in the high E. And then back to this. So that's the third, first fret on the D again, second fret on the high E, and then zero, one, zero on the B, and then back to the three, four. So it is. And then we have these chords that. So those chords, just in the intro, or in this order, you're going to play the seventh fret there on the D. Fifth on the G and seven on the B. And then come down to the fifth fret on the D, same three strings, but fifth on the D, four on the G, five on the B. And you're gonna hit that chord twice. And then we're gonna take it down further, fourth fret on the D, second fret there on the G, and fourth fret on the B. All right, from there we have the open E string. So open E. It goes, as you let that E ring, seven, six on the high E, then seven, five. Then eight, seven on the, um, on the B. Then you hit the open E again, and then we have some, got some double stops. That's the eighth fret there on the um, B and the seventh on the high E string. Then seven on the B, five on the high E string. Slide down two frets, so it's gonna be three on the high E, five on the B, and then back up to the five and seven. And then we start over. So we start over with the three, four. So we have this so far, and the vocals come in there right when we start over. So we have this that we've covered so far. Then we just basically start over it, and I just throw some random variations there. So this, this part will stay the same. That stays the same, but when he'll get to like this chord, he'll throw some trills in there, and then. He just kind of messes with it. And then here he'll go uh, stuff like. Kind of slide up to five on that G chord, anticipating the D. So it's just stuff like that, just the kind of the notes on the high, the higher notes. He's just kind of mixing up a little bit. So I'm not going to cover all those little fills because he kind of goes through it a few times, and he's just 
kind of free will. Or you can just play it like the, exactly the intro, note for note. Just keep repeating it like that and it will sound fine. The only thing that's different though is those play it out. That in the intro was that we had the same chords again, but they're played uh, different amounts of times each. So when the vocals come in, uh, whenever the Aussie's singing, that little it's different. It plays the uh, this first chord, the seven five seven, and then down to that five four five chord. And instead of playing that twice here, you go keep going down to the the, the last chord, which is that four two four, and you hit this one twice. And then you can kind of do the same. Third time, the in the the in the actual verse. Instead, I go. He does add like a double stop. But so he's kind of instead of going, he adds that eighth fret there on the B with it. Then everything's the same. So just kind of mix it up. That's what, that's what I would do there. And then we get to, um, you go through this, and it's kind of a weirdly laid out song. So we go from this verse to really what's like now a distorted verse that's completely different. And that looks like this. So I, coming out of... So a lot easier to play. So we just start out with this, really kind of goes into this, out of this, this open the high E and B strings, and it leads into this big E power chord here, which is at the, uh, op you can just play the seventh fret on the A, nine on the D and the G, and just kind of all the other strings open. And he kind of continues that, where he, he'll hit the chord and then go to, take the open high E and the B separately. I'll take it down to B flat power chord, which is the power chord of the first fret off the A string. And then here, the fills are always different. The first one is just that quickly palm mute the uh, seventh fret there. I'm sorry, seventh. The third fret over there on the D, and then the first fret there on the G. And then we do the same thing again. And this next ending is the same thing, except that first fret is on the B string, not the G. So still the third fret on the D. And then again. And now the that top note's gonna be on the high E string. So still the third fret on the D first, and then that high E string, first fret. And then back to this. So it's pretty simple. Back to the B flat power chord. And then this fourth time through, it's gonna play the, this is gonna be a little bit different. First fret on the G and B. And then we had this ending. All right, so that's um, the power chord off the second fret of the A string, up to three. Then the open A power chord. Then do that again. And then here we're gonna have this. So that is the power chord where you're putting the fifth in the bass. So that's gonna be the third fret there on the A, but also the third fret there on the low E. And then you're gonna add the fifth fret here on the uh, D string. 
play that, and then move that down uh, one fret to the second fret. So it's still second fret across the low E and the A, fourth fret there on the D. And then three, two, zero on the low E string. And then he'll do that kind of high E, open B. And then right before he goes to the next section, here I'm doing some quick harmonics at the fifth fret. So just kind of bar the fifth fret across, the, the harmonics at least. On the, uh, and you're gonna just strum the harmonics from the fifth fret on, across the D to the high E. All right, and then we go into, we stick into a different verse, which is slightly different again, but um, pretty simple once again. It looks like this. So this, this fill is not we're ending that. I'm not really kind of focusing on getting those exactly like he was. It's kind of similar to the first, that previous uh, verse. But the thing he does different here, he had, plays that second one. Instead of doing that, he plays the chord first. And he'll do that high E to B again. And then, and then he kind of goes a uh, hammer from seven to nine on the A and to slide into the 11th fret. You can keep a low E ring in with it if you want to. When he holds that, and then he goes to the B flat. And then you can do whatever you want, kind of fill up the end. And it's kind of that deal now. He does that kind of every time. So the second time through at the end, he throws a little, which is just like two zero on the low E, and then two a couple of bends on the tip. And back he'll be in. Kind of threw that in there um, in this particular verse on the, after the second time through. And then back, that same melody on the A string. And the same ending. Now, this next section, I'm calling it the interlude. It's just kind of, they're just rocking out for a bit. It's a really cool riff. Um, it's my second favorite part of the song, besides the solo part, which is awesome. Uh, so this part is a lot of fun to play. It looks like this. <laughs> So that starts out with this E power chord, the seventh fret of the A string. Yeah, and we'll hit that low E first. Then hit that chord and slide down to the B flat power chord of the first fret again. So hit the low E real quick before I hit that B flat power chord. And then it goes one, two on the low E. A lot of Rob Rod on that too. So it's there, cool little fill, I like the really heavily palm muted. So that's going to be 2-5 on the D, then 3 on the G, 5 on the B, and then 3 on the G, 3 on the high E. So we have this. And then we kind of do the same thing, except here. There, he's kind of just does a big bend and release on that too, and then the same lift. And then again, normal vibrato that third time through on that two, second fret. And then that same lick again, and then we had that same ending. All right, now that takes us to the uh, bridge section. Uh, which, oh, I'm, yeah, I guess we would call this the bridge. 
And uh, this one is back on a clean guitar setting. I'll play through this. This one's pretty involved, too. Um, it's probably the most intricate part of the song. Yay. We just, um, um, but then after that, uh, we're, we're pretty much ready for the solo. All right, so uh, I'm going to play through it for you real quick, and then I'll show you how to play it. So here we go. So that's got a lot going on there. Um, so we're gonna kind of go through this. This is one of those things too. It's not essential to get it like note for note. I'm trying to get it pretty much note for note, but you know, it's kind of you know, basic arpeggios around these chords, and you're pretty good to go. So uh, he, he's not one of those guys, that, especially sections like this. He does it. He's always like kind of doing little variations and stuff. So we're gonna start here with this open E, open E into this E minor triad. 9 on the D, 9 on the G, 8 on the B string to 7, and then back to that 9 on the G. Then hammer 7 to 8. You still keep that low E ring in there. Hammer 7 to 8 on the B, then 7 on the high E, 10, 8 on the B, to nine on the G. By the way, this part you might want to just kind of tab along with me uh, as you get it under your fingers. It's probably easier to do it um, that way. So it's pretty intricate. So after that, seven and then a 10, eight on the B to seven on the G. And then you're going to go back to the seven on the B, nine on the G, nine on the D to the eight on the B string. And then we actually start this. So we're gonna start here with that e, um, e minor chord. So I'm hyper picking the first two notes. So you hold that E minor, pick the A and the B string together. So I'm hyper picking that. Then pick across the D, G, and then kind of a little slight little pulse. Then pick the B string again. Then hammer seven to eight on the B, back to seven. So hear this. Then back down to that seven here. And here he's just kind of. So it's seven, then over to the eight on the G. Then he picks across seven on the B, eight on the G, 10 on the D. So hear this. So hear this. Then we have another hybrid pick, open D with the seventh fret on the B. And then I like to hammer seven to eight, then pick eight, slide up to 10, and slide 10 back down to eight. So, so far we have this. I kind of lead in and then we have this. When you get back to that eight, then we're gonna you're gonna hold a G major chord. So you got that eighth fret there on the B, seventh on the G, nine on the D, ten on the A. And then so after you slide down, then just kind of grab the chord and then pick across it from the B all the way to the eight, then back up to the B. So it kind of starts on the upbeat there. So we have this. So 
So it's kind of like, uh, let, let that note hold for a second then. Like that. And then we're going to jump down here. So this is going to be the fourth fret there on the A, fifth on the B. So you got to hyper pick that. It's a big stretch because then you're going to go, after you play those two notes, keep holding them. Second fret there on the G. Back to that fifth fret on the B. And then now the third fret on the high E string. And then back to that fifth fret on the B. And he knew his chords. So this is a, about an A7 in first inversion, by the way, if you want to know what it is. Then we do an A minor in first inversion. So after this. So, we're sorry. That's the third fret on the, what you're going to want to do here is third fret on the a string, bar the second fret across the D and the G, and then bar with your pinky the fifth fret across the B and the IE, so it's not a comfortable chord. And you're gonna pick the A string, G, B, E, then the G, D. So it is. Then we get a little bit of a break. So, a little single note action here. Four, I mean, sorry, two on the, the A string, then four on the B, five, seven, then eight, twice. Back down to seven. And then you're gonna hammer. Now, I hammer using these two fingers because, because it goes into that eight E minor chord. So, hammer five to seven, and then up to eight there. When you get to that eight, on the B string, you grab that E minor chord and pick across it again. So pick across those four strings, pull off to the seven, over to nine on the G, and then back to that seven on the B. So it is. Then there we, we have this, which is the eighth fret on the high E, eleventh on the G, then the tenth on the B. And then it gives us a break again. So that's fifth fret on the A string, and then a little single note line, which is seven, slide up to eight, eight, slide up to 10, and then 10, slide back down to eight. And then we have this little arpeggio sequence. So that's a G major arpeggio first. So we're gonna start here, we're barring across the seventh fret across the G and the, to the high E. So it's seventh on the high E, eight on the B, seven on that G, nine on the D. Then jump down here and grab that. There's a G major arpeggio too, which is five on the D, four on the G, open B, and three on the high E. So it... Then we go back to that A7 with C sharp in the bass. So it's just, so it's a little bit different. So you're gonna hold that same fourth fret on the a string, fifth fret on the B, second on the G, third fret on the high E, high e string, and then pick G, B. And then back down to that A minor with the C in the bass again, so that once again. So I'm, I'm picking the A string, holding that same chord we did before, then G, B, high E, B, G, A. So, pause on that top note. So after that third fret on the A, play the second fret on the A, and then jump up here. That's a little octave, eighth fret there on the G, and 11th on the high E. Hyper pick those, and then move that up to the ninth fret. And then 11th fret on the G, 11th fret on the high E. And then we have this. So that's kind of some double stops here. Eighth fret on the B, ninth fret on the G. Pick those together, slide down to the seventh fret. So, and then take the same chord again, the eight and the nine, slide up two frets. And then, 
Then he plays a 12s across the G and the B, back down to 11 and 10 there, where we just came from, the 10 on the B, 11 on the G. And then, so, slide back down to the 8 and 9, and then we're going to pick across the E minor chord again. So across those same four strings, and then lift up, so it's a seventh fret there on the B. Hold that, and then we have this. So that's eight on the G, eight on the high E string, then seven on the B. And then we're gonna go a little single note melody again. So we have, So this is a little bit different. I'm gonna, it goes up to the 12th fret. So I'm just gonna use my third finger, my, my ring finger, seven up to eight, eight up to 10, uh, 10 up to 12. And when we get to the 12, we're gonna play this G major arpeggios across the D string, G string, and B string at the 12th fret. Pick those, kind of pick across them, and then pick the G and the D string and then move that down to the ninth fret on the D. And then we're back to that G major chord that we did earlier, but we're just gonna pick from the A string across to the B. So we have this. All right, now we're getting towards the ending. He has a different version of this A7 with the C sharp and the bass is up here. So that right here, after, after coming out of this G chord, you're gonna have this. Ninth fret on the G string, ninth on the low E, and then seventh on the D. And then grab that eighth fret there on the B string. Then pick the D and the G string again. So we have this. From there we have this. So that's going to be 8th fret on the uh, low E string, then 7th, uh, bar across the 7th fret of the G, D, and the A, like that, and then, um, uh, I'm sorry, the, across the 7th of the, the A and the D, 9 on the G, and 10 on the B. So you're going to pick, you're still holding the 8 on the low E, so you pick the low E, then that D, G, B, G, and then D, A. So. So. And then back down. So it's just kind of like that second fret on the A string and then build up that melody. Four, five, seven on the B and then Kind of a little melody just going between eight and seven on the B string. Finally, something pretty easy. And then he does that at the end. Eight on the high E, 10 on the B, 11 on the G. And then we have this, letter single. To end it. So, thank God, it's a long thing. So here we have five on the A, and then that slides seven to eight on the B. 8 to 10. I'm using my middle finger here again because I'm going to come back down, slide back down to the 8, and then I'm going to grab, since, since my middle finger is there, I can grab that G major chord again. And then we're going to pick all the way from the high E string across to the 8. And then back to the B. And then we have that A7 with C sharp in the bass again, which is the 9th fret on the low E, 7th on the D, 9 on the G, eight on the B. So what he's gonna be picking when he's holding that is gonna be G, E, D, B, E, and then the two middle strings, the D and the G, so it is. So coming out of that G chord. And then we're gonna end it by going eight on the low E string, 
seven on the D, nine on the G, and then the 10 on the B. And then he goes into that. Uh, string and then that takes us back into the same little I call it at the interlude section that really fun riff um, and then the same and that out of that so it's the exact same way we you played it before and then we get to the end of the song which is that solo section so I'm gonna play through that for you real quick and then I'll show you how to play it note for note So this thing is absolutely insane. It's like an entire piece of music on its own. They just decided just end the song with it, really. So, uh, all right. So we're going to start here with this kind of just starts as like kind of really a rhythm thing with these like really cool looks in it. So we have this. <laughs> So we're going to start there with just the just hit on the low E string and the seventh along with the seventh fret on the A string, just those E octaves, and then you just start chugging on that low E string. Then we're going to go here to this. Uh, we have the uh, fifth fret on the D, third on the G, and fifth on the B. So with this. Uh, and then back to chugging on the low E, and then we have this first leg. So that's a quick hammer on from four on the A string, hammer on five, seven. So kind of a quick like. And then to a trill between four and five on the D. And then back to the seventh fret on the A, so we have this. Back to the uh, low E chugs, and then we have this. So that's going to be that same chord. A couple hits on the low E again, into a B major chord. Then we have this. So that's going to start with a little bit of a pinch harmonic. I hate pinch harmonics all over the place, so it's kind of just kind of marking them is just going to get a little bit redundant, but you get the notes and you can add them at will, really. So we're going to have the fourth fret there on the G, hammer five, pull back off to four. So after that, over to seven on the D, back to that four on the G. Then you're going to go down to the D string, play the seventh fret, pull off to five, four, and then down to seven on the A and kind of slide off of it. So, so far we have this. Then back to the kind of the same thing we did before. Kind of the first time through it. And then we do this. So after that. So those two chords end that little part before we go into the trills. Um, and that is just that same chord, and then, and then take that down one fret, the second fret. And then that goes into this series of trills. So 
Now, this one of those things where you can just, with a really grainy video, you can kind of see him from a distance play this. And he's not, he's, um, you know, he's not, he started down there, but he's actually starting it up here. So there's actually a little bit of visual evidence of that. So uh, we're going to start here at the 11, a trill, half step trill on the, between 11 and 12 on the low E string. And then the same thing between 9 and 10 on the A, 9 and 10 on the D, 8 and 9 on the G, and then 11 and 12 on the G, then 12 and 13 on the B, and 11 and 12 on the high E. So we have this. And then he goes up and he's gonna do a whole step trill between 12 and 14 on the on the high E. And then half step trill again between 14 and 15 on the high E. And then a couple of whole step trills between 15 and 17 here and 17 and 19. And then end it with a half step trill between 19 and 20. So, so all together. And then we're going to end it with a little pedal point lick, which is going to be 17, 19 on the high E, then 15, 19, and then, and then the 14th fret with a little, a little bend on a little vibrato. All right, so that's that trill section, and then we get to this part. All right, so that's going to start here off this E minor arpeggio. So nine on the G, eight on the B, uh, seven on the high E, up to eight on the high E. Then you can just a quick little hammer pull between seven and eight on the high E over to 10 on the B string. So then back to seven on the high E string. 10, 8, 7. So we have this. From there, we do this. Kind of the same link done twice. So yeah, I know it sounds out of key, but it's on. That's what he's playing on the recording. So. Uh, so after you do that. Once you get there, you're going to go back to the 8 and do a quick pull off between 8 and 7. And then over to uh, 10 on the B, back to that 7 on the high E. Then back down to the 10 on the B string, and then pull off 8 to 7 on the B string. Quick little pull off. And then that 10, I know it doesn't sound, you would think it would be that note, but it's that on the loud recording. And then eight on the G. So we have this. Now from that eight, we go some vibrato on that A. I'm sorry. So five and fourteen up to twenty on the G. And then twenty-two, twenty, nineteen on the high E string. All right, next lick. All right, so this one's kind of like um, very, kind of similar licks, and he's t just kind of taking it across the scales and jumping around with it. Um, so, the, so the first one, that was a little different. So we're going to start here 19, 20, 22 on the high E string. So you get up there, pull back off to the 19, so 22, 19, 22 to 20 to 19, over to 22 on the B, 
back to that 19 on the high E string, and then go back over to the B string and play 22, pull off to uh, 20 and 19. And when you get to the 21 on the G, you can kind of slide it down. And then he kind of starts the same lick as when he starts repeating. Them. So it starts. So we're going to start here at the um, 16th fret on the G string. And do a quick little hammer on 17, pull back up to seven, uh, 16. Over to 19 on the D, back to that 16 on the G. Then back to the D string, play 19, pull off to 17 and 16. That's kind of the lick that we're repeating a lot here. And then he takes it, he kind of, you kind of hear him kind of sliding it down the D string. So it's right this down to the 14th fret there on the D. And then he does that same lick again. So that's uh, the, that hammer, um, play 14 on the D, hammer 15, pull back off, over to that 17 on the A, and then back to that uh, 14 on the D, and then back to the A string, and then 17, pull off to 14, uh, 15, then 14. So you can see it's a... Same lick. Except here, he goes after he gets here, at the end of the lick, he goes back up. Tamers back on the 15 and the 17 to get back here to start the lick over. And then this when this last on a plane, he just goes straight down. So he does that same lick. When he pulls off to down to 14, to keep going. 17, 15, 14 on the low E. So it's like, so when you get here, it's basically that look repeated twice, but the ending's a little different. And it kind of... Now you go back up to repeat it. And then go all the way down. Continue that pull-off all the way down to the 14th round low E string. So we have this. And then we're going to end it. Kind of holding this 14th fret with some vibrato on the low E, and then you're going to play 15, hammer on 17, over to 14 on the um, A string, and then back to 17 on the low E, pull off to 15 and 14. So we have to. From there, we have uh, some more like legato -y type stuff. Until that part, so I'll stop there. So we have this. So you're gonna you can kind of rake into this 12th fret there on the high E string. And then hammer on 13 and 15, pull back off to 13 and 12, slide down to 10, hammer back on to 12, and pull back off to 10. So Then you're gonna play 13 and pull off to 12, 10 on the B. So it's... Then slide that down to the seventh fret, and you're just gonna ascend real quick, six notes, seven, eight, ten. You're gonna hammer, hammer them on on the B, and then the same thing on the high E string. So it's... Now, once you get here, then we're gonna start picking again. So this, he slides into this um, this 12th fret. So you pick the 12, then three open strings, open high E's, and then 10, then three open high E's. Eight, three open high E's. So wait, this. Pretty cool. And then we have this. So that is going to be. Yeah, 
So we had this uh, five on the high E, hammer on seven, pull back off to five, over to eight on the B, and then five on the high E, and then so that sorry. Five hammer seven, pull back up to five, over to eight on the B, back to that five on the high E, and then, and then you're gonna play eight, pull off to seven and five on the B, over to seven on the G, and back to that five on the B. So you have this. And then you're just gonna end it with. So that is just a quick pull off. Pick seven on the G, pull off to five and four. Same thing on the D string. And then quickly catch that seventh fret on the A. So wait this. And then he jumps back here to the fourth fret, and these notes are held. Four on the G string, then seven, five, four on the D. And then when you get here, it kind of. So that, so, uh, so coming out of, we get back to, this thing's kind of similar to the beginning of the solo. A little bit simplified though. So we had this, you pick that seven, and you chug it on the low E again. And then, but here you're just gonna go five to seven, hammer on five to seven. And then a trill between four and five on the D. Back to that seven on the, low, on the A. So then it's the same lick again, but it's the trill is on the G string, not the D. There's a sub about four and five there. So this. So it, and then it kind of goes back to the doing the version with the trill between the, the four and five, but there's a different ending kind of leads to the end of solo. So that's after that. Back when you get back to that trill between four and five on the D. So all together, let's show you where I'm at. Right here. After that third time, that third trill, which is back on the D, we go six, seven, nine on the A string. And then we get to this little ending section. So that starts out kind of after uh, here we go into like an E minor chord. Plus that uh, we, we played this E minor chord already, like in the bridge and stuff. So I just kind of strum across it. Then it goes seven, nine, ten on the A, and then it goes back to the nine on the A, and then you can play the seven on the G, ten on the B. So it. Then that's gonna be nine, ten on the A, seven on the D, and then this G power chord, which is the fifth fret there on the D, seven on the G, eight on the B. Let's play this. All right. From there we have the little ending. Which is just, you know, kind of live specific, you know, these these little endings, these little fills he adds in all the places when he's playing live. So we have seven on the D and play uh, slide nine to ten on the D and then into thirteen and sixteen. So right this. And then the rest of it is kind of repeats, but I'm going to uh, play it a little bit different where that G is set up here and play it here. So it's going to go. So I'm going to set it to go catching that seven on the A. I'm going to, um, the, well, it's the A note. It's the seventh on the D string note. I'm going to move it up to the 12 here on the A. That's the only thing that's different. And then I'm going to play that chord here instead of here. So the 10th fret power across the A string. So we have this.
and then this other fill is a little. The fills are kind of like you can just really kind of do whatever you want with it. It's just kind of hammering up 14 to 15 on the A, and then 14, 16, slide up to 18. Catch a pinch on Monarch on that 16th fret there on the D. So. All right, then back to kind of the same thing again. But when you get to that G here, then he goes to the end of the song. Uh, we're gonna just go and jump back here, get that G power for the 10th fret, just take it down to the 2nd fret, and then chromatically go all the way up to the 7th. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then just hit the low E open power chord, and you are good to go. So this song is very, very involved. Um, there's just so much cool stuff in it, all the clean sections, and it's just really laid out very odd. Uh, but it's just very cool and just just great writing, great great chord structures and, and solos. It's just a lot of fun to play and break down for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If anybody's still here, it's a long video. But I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.